It's unbelievable to be to be here winning the winning the championship at this stage. How difficult was that for you watching from the touchline? Um, it was very difficult indeed, you know, uh, not being involved. Uh, but in all fairness, at the end of the day, we, we've worked hard all season, you know, to win this uh, championship. Uh, I, I lost the league the last day of the season in Shelburne a couple of years back, and I, I was just hoping that I didn't have to go through the same situation again, you know. And the resilience you've shown all season showed again today after you went 1 0 down. Well, that's it. I think we went down in the, within the first 10 minutes, you know. Uh, to be fair to the crowd, he didn't really get on top of us. Uh, uh, a great goal by Gaz, another one by Vinny, and that was it. The confidence just started to build. You've seen yourself there in the last 15, 20 minutes. We passed the ball really, really well. Enjoy the party tonight and go Thanks easy on that leg. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Please. Thanks. Well, Billy, uh, deserved, I must say, for Ronnie McFall, uh, the manager. His fourth title with Portadown. Well, he's, he's a master. If you think back to the start of the season, he hardly had a team to put together, but he's done his job well. He's, he's put a good team, a good blend of youth and experience, and a great front-running partnership with Vinnie Arkins and, and Hamilton. And I think they've scored about 55 goals between them. So it's been a great year for them, and uh, I don't think even at the start of the season his wildest dreams could have seen this day. Yeah, these are the live scenes from Shamrock Park this afternoon. Of course, we, we saw a glimpse of the helicopter just landing beside Shamrock Park. Inside that helicopter, the, the Gibson Cup being flown in specially this afternoon. And uh, they'll be looking forward to it arriving here very, very shortly. Yeah, it means a bit more to the players and the fans if the actual trophy's on the pitch. And uh, I'm sure within a few minutes, uh, they'll whisk the trophy from the helicopter and get it on the pitch for the lads to film, have a few celebrated drinks out of. Yeah, super pictures at, uh, at Shamrock Park. There's Vinnie Arkins, uh, goal scorer today, and Gary Hamilton, both very influential this season. And the manager, Ronnie McFall, what a day for him. Now, it finished 3-1 there at Shamrock Park this afternoon. Little ships it in. Mickey Kinney comes. He doesn't get there. It's 1-0. Ten minutes gone. It's Pat Wall. It's taken quickly. Major's chip, here's Hamilton! That's what the fans wanted, and he has delivered his 20th goal of the season. Feeney it is to chip it forward. Arkins got his head to it. Arkins! 2-1! He hasn't scored in the last five games, but he's a big man for the big occasion. Clark gets to the byline, chips it across, well struggling us off the bar. Douglas missed his kick, Arkins the overhead, Fide, 3-1. He's on his way to his fourth title, Ronnie McFall. Shamrock Park once again. Just a reminder, if you've just joined us, Portadown are the Irish League champions for the year. 2002. They have beaten Cliftonville this afternoon. That win good enough for them to clinch the title. Glentoran managed to beat Coleraine at the Oval, but sadly it just wasn't good enough. And uh, Billy Hamilton's still with me. Billy, uh, helicopter still on its way? Still on its way, yeah. It's all the more remarkable because uh, Portadown went the goal behind, and you would think that, that might have given the players a bit of nerves. And But they stuck their task well and they got the equaliser through Hamilton. And then, of course, Vinnie Arkins weighs in with a goal, settles the nerves. And uh, they coasted it really the, the, the second half. They, they weren't really in much trouble at all. And uh, of course, disappointment at the Oval this afternoon for Glen Torren. Uh, we, we must uh, uh, commiserate with them. They were so far out uh, at one point of the season, uh, Billy, they almost should have had the league in the bag. Yeah, early on the season, they were, they were in great form. They didn't concede many goals, and uh, they were about four or five points clear. But then all of a sudden, the goals started to dry up and they went in the other end and poured it down, kept chipping away, kept knocking, picking up the points and they eventually caught them in the end. OK, Billy, thanks for the moment. We can now go to the Oval and get some reaction from uh, Glen Thorne's Chris Walker. Indeed we can, Stephen. There's something of an eerie silence here at the Oval. Chris Walker, ultimately your destiny not in your own hands. It, it didn't happen for you today. The right result, but it poured it down the wrong result. Yeah, well, we knew it wasn't in our hands. You know, all we could do was go out and win the game and hope that uh, Porta Down would slip up but as, as we all know they've won 3-1 and the champions were at Shamrock Park. Did you allow yourself any hope when early on in this game the crowd had signalled here that Cliftonville had taken the lead at Shamrock Park? Well we knew because it was such a big uproar whenever Cliftonville had took the lead and then we went to hit ourselves and you know, we're, 
we're quietly confident, you know, but you can't keep a good strike force like Gary Hamilton and Danny Argon's down for long and they showed it today. So I suppose congratulations to Portadown. They've probably been the best team all season. Oh yes, definitely congratulations to them. They've been the most consistent team all season. I'm not saying the best, but the most consistent, yeah. But congratulations to them and hope it all goes well for them. And what a title race it has been, Chris. Oh yes, it's been fantastic. I mean, right down to the last game, when was the last time that happened? And two of the biggest clubs in Northern Ireland to test contesting the, the final game. What, what, what more could you ask for, you know? And little cameos unfurling all afternoon. Rory Hamill, of course, a player of the year at Glen Torn in 99. He gets the equaliser here for Coleraine. Yeah, well, I don't know whether I could give Rory the goal, you know. I think he was crossing at the back post and it just went over Alan Goff's head. And there's nothing you can do about them, you know. But we worked hard. We knew we had to. And we kept on plugging away and we got our award in the end. Thanks for providing us with a thrilling season. It's back to Stephen in the studio. Well, disappointing for Chris Walker and Glenn Torrance, but only delight for Ronnie McFall and Porter Down. And the manager is with Jackie live at Shamrock Park. Jackie. He shot me well. OK, thank you very much indeed. Ronnie McFall is here. Ronnie, many, many congratulations. Thank you very much. What a moment. What a reception. Yeah, tremendous, Jackie. I think over the course of the season, it was fully deserved it. I know it went down to the last game, which was always expected. But I thought we played some tremendous stuff. And going into today's game, I basically had uh, Feeney wasn't 100% fit, Towns wasn't 100% fit, absolutely tremendous. And Cliff will ruin the script after 10 minutes by scoring. How did yeah, you feel? Yeah, well, I thought we were very nervous at the start, Jackie. But I thought after the first 10, 15 minutes, we picked up the pace and there's only ever one, one of one team to win it. And I was just saying, they're almost relegated last season. You had to assemble a new team. And my goodness, how that team has played for you. Yeah, well, they're young lads. They're hungry for success. They've obviously got a lot of ability. And the hunger and desire has been there all season. And, we'll, and I always work on the basis that the league table never lies. And at the end of the day, we're worthy champions. That is true. Let me bring in one of the young lads, Mickey Keenan, yep. 46 years of age. Can yep. you believe this? No, it's brilliant. Couldn't believe it at all. You know, I think we'll do this. Well, it's a good team and well deserved it. You know, I'm just glad to be part of it. Fourth league medal for you. Is this a very special one at 46 years of age? Oh, very much so, yeah. They're all hard to win. And I cherish all of them, but this one, but it's such a small squad. Young lads coming in, it's been brilliant, this has been the best of the lot. And will you be back next season? Yep, no problem to me, if I'm asked I'll be playing. Good man, let me bring in Vinnie Harkins here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been around Jackie a bit, I've been to a few clubs, but it's actually great to come to a club where you feel part of the, the family, and that's definitely how I feel here. I've been here five years, the, the chairman in fairness to him said to me we'd win something. It's taken five years, but I'm glad I'm here today and we've actually done it. How did you feel when you went at one down after ten minutes? Well, it was a bit, I think we were a bit... Uh, Tempted about the start, we should have probably went straight at them. We sort of let, said we let it go for 10 minutes, see how it was settled. But obviously, we got back into the game. Gary Hampton scored a great goal, I scored, and then uh, Fino scored as well. So it's great to, to win anything. I didn't want to come out today and, and not perform and maybe get a draw and have to hope uh, thing, things went with us the other way. I think sometimes, Jackie, in football, you've got to make your own look and you can't rely on other people. And we've definitely done that this year. We've been, I think we've been the best team in the league. Some of the managers have agreed with me, some of the managers haven't. I think we have been. You're a happy man. Yes! Gary Hamilton is here. Right. Well done, young Gary. What a first season for you at Portadown. Yeah, it's always good to get a medal in your first season. Never ever expected it at the start of the season. Always thought we'd be strong contenders for it, but never expect this in your first season back. 20th goal for you today, and what a special goal. What a vital goal it was to get back in the game. Yeah, we, we struggled the first 20 minutes or so, but as soon as we scored, I thought we were always going to go on and win it. Like, lucky enough, I got the first one too. But it's been a great team effort this season, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been brilliant this season. The lads just great banter in their season rooms. Everybody works together, works hard for each other. And you have to give all credit to Ronnie as well. Ronnie's done well to get a few team together and obviously won it for him. Well, Philip Major is here as well. I'll bring Philip. The trophy has just arrived. Yeah. You didn't want to talk to me in midweek to tempt fate, but you're happy enough to talk to me now. Fantastic. For, fourth league medal for you. Yeah, fourth league medal. That's fantastic. Uh, every league medal, you got to cherish it. I don't think some of the young lads uh, appreciate what, what they've actually won, so it's just fantastic for the club. At the start of the season, when Ronnie had to build a new team, could you foresee this? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I knew at the very start of the season we were going to do well. No, to be fair, no, we didn't really think we'd challenge. So uh, I think we proved a lot of people wrong this season, so it's been a fantastic year. And after going one down today, I think the side showed a lot of character and a lot of quality. We've showed that all year, I think, you know, we've dug in when we had to. We've come back in games where, you know, where we were goals down. So I think that's the market champions, and I think that's why we've won the league today. I read some press man who was saying, will it be Philip Major's last game today, will it? 
No, there's a Mid-Ulster Cup final on Tuesday night. I'm hoping to get another medal then, so I'm looking forward to that one. Well, after and, that. And hopefully there's an Irish Cup final to come, so uh, after that, I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm okay. still a young man, though. I'm still a young of man. Of course you are. Thank well, you. enjoy your night. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thank well, I can tell you the trophy has arrived here, the famous uh, helicopter. It touched down, I believe, uh, about four or 500 yards from Shamrock Park. And as I was talking to the boys there, I did see it arriving. So I think we're just about ready to have the presentation. The players are still here. The crowd are still here. It's party time at Shamrock Park. These celebrations, you could be sure, they will go on and on and on. Fourth league title, 1990, 1991, they did a league and cup double. Again in 96, and now in 2002. Great job Ronnie McFall has done here in his 16 years. Last season, as we were saying, third from bottom, almost relegated, but my goodness, he's built a new side, and they have come up trumps. Right now, it's back to Stephen in the studio. Thank you, Jackie. We'll stick with these live pictures from Shamrock Park. It's been an emotional day. It's been a dramatic day of Irish League football. Billy Hamilton still with me in the studio. There is the Gibson Cup. Uh, it's at Shamrock Park, and we're just seconds away, Billy, from it being lifted by the captain, Vinnie Arkins. Yeah, would you see the roar? Or would you hear the roar of the cry when this is lifted? And we're just about to. There's Jim Sembley, Irish League president. Hands over the trophy to Vinnie Arkins, and they are indeed the champions this year. Live pictures on BBC Northern Ireland of the Irish League champions ported out. Their first win since 1996 when they won the inaugural Premier League. And scenes of jubilation for Vinnie Arkins on his side this afternoon. And Billy, uh, I must say, Vinnie Arkins has been instrumental in Portadown's success this season. Uh, top school goal scorer in the Irish League and probably on his way to player of the season, I'm sure. He's the best striker in the Irish League. He has been for the last few years. He guarantees your goals. And I was quite surprised to hear there that's his first championship medal. So he'll be a proud man today. And it's great for Irish League football. The, the, the race was so close and we had a finish like this. At one stage it was Coleraine, Linfield, Glen Torn, Portadown, all vying for the championship. And then towards the end of the season, it just got into Glen Torn and Portadown. And it was a fantastic race that went right to the wire. We will be confirming all the Irish League results for you this afternoon. I can confirm as well that the uh, distillery, I think, have won the first division title this afternoon. I'll just double check that for you very soon. But the distillery, the first division, champions today but at Shamrock Park Portadown Down are the winners. If you have just joined us uh, we'll take a look at their goals from this afternoon. Quickly Majors chip here. Yeah this is the equaliser from Gary. Good volley there. I think he's a bit fortunate to see the goal but that helped settle their nerves. Now going going to go behind with so much at stake and so much tension. And then once again there's uh, Vinnie Arkins gets on the end of it and brave header there. But still at 2-1, Billy, uh, the job wasn't complete because Glentoran were winning at the Oval and that, that, that was dangerous for them. Yeah, it's, um, you know, they're never safe for the one-goal lead, but uh, they, they, ha they had it fairly comfortably in the second half, put it down. This ball comes out. Arkins uh, has one attempt at it, then an overhead kick that goes to Colin Sini and he tucks it away nicely, and that settled all the nerves. So that finished 3-1. Uh, there are the live scenes from Shamrock Park, and no doubt, Billy, that party will continue long into the night. And nice to see a great crowd at Shamrock Park this afternoon. Irish League uh, can pack them in when it wants to. It was a fantastic crowd at Shamrock Park, and to be fair, they've all stayed for the celebrations. I think that's great. It means a lot to the players. It's a day they'll remember for the rest of their life. As we said, uh, at the Oval this afternoon, Glen Torrent did beat Coleraine by two goals to one. We're sure you'd like to see those goals as well, even though uh, they didn't secure Glen Torrent any silverware this afternoon. Uh, the first goal was scored by Gary Smith in the first half. Corner by Tim McCann floated in. Mistake by the keeper and Gary Smith there to give Glen Torrent the lead. At that stage, Portadown were only uh, drawing at uh, Shamrock Park. Then they went behind at Shamrock Park and the league was looking good for Glen Torrent. But Rory Hamill upsetting the party, making it 1-1 at the Oval. Then Mark Lindinning giving Glen Torrent just a glimmer of hope, making it 2-1 at the Oval. But uh, no joy for the Glens. Portadown, the champions. Now, we'd like to confirm all the Irish League Premier Division results for you this afternoon. Let's take a, a check on those if we can. 
I'd finish Glentoran 2, Coleraine 1, Linfield 3, Oma Town 2, uh, Newry Town 0, Crusaders 1, and Portadown 3, Cliftonville 1. And the table. Top of the table and the champions, Portadown by a point from Glentoran, Linfield finishing third, and of course we've got the cup final to look forward to in a couple of weeks' time. Coleraine fourth, no relegation this season, Ards finishing at the bottom of the table. The uh, celebrations will continue long into the night. If you have just joined us just a few moments ago, Vinnie Arkins, the Portadown captain, lifted the Gibson Cup for Portadown. Great achievement for them. Fourth title season, Billy, when Ronnie McFall only had half a dozen players signed, including this man, of course, Vinnie Arkins. He really has achieved a miracle down there. He's done tremendously well. I think now, that's just about it from final score. It's been Portadown's day. They're the Irish League champions for 2002. Regarding Saturday's other results,